In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take a screenplay PDF and get it back into something that's editable, like Final Draft. This is a pretty common situation where you have a screenplay PDF like this, and you'd like to move it into Final Draft, but you can't because Final Draft has no idea how to deal with the PDF. So you have a couple options. The first one, of course, is you could just retype the whole thing. That has a lot of problems, obviously. You could introduce a lot of mistakes. This is sort of the second choice, and it's not great, but it can work in some situations. So let's take a look at this PDF. It is just your basic PDF. We're looking at this in preview, and you can see that there are about 120 pages, 114 pages. Um, and what's good about this PDF is the text is actually selectable. So it's not just a bunch of images. You really can select the text. And because of that, you could actually select all the text and copy and paste it into Final Draft. It's not going to work perfectly, but it will work. So let's show you how you do that. Now, I would advise you don't try to take this cover page information because you're going to have to retype a lot of that anyway. You're going to want to do that specially. But let's start with the first page of real text. Stick your cursor here, then go all the way to the end. Hold down the Shift key to select the whole thing, then copy. Now we're going to open up Final Draft. So let's open up a new Final Draft document, and we will just paste. So here is all the text from the original script. And you can see it all made it through. It just all looks wrong. It's all uppercase. And partly that's because it was set to scene heading as the sort of default element when you pasted this in. And so it thinks everything that you're pasting in is a scene element. So one quick thing you can do from the very start, because most things won't be scene elements, is to let's delete all that. And let's try it again, but let's make the default element action. And let's paste again. All right, that looks some better. So as we're looking through here, we see that stuff is pasted in largely. Um, we have page numbers up here. Um, dialogue looks to be a little bit messed up. And we also have page numbers here. This was like supposed to be page number two. But because we copied all the text, it copied those page numbers too. So we're going to have to go through and delete those out. That's not ideal, but we can make it happen. Now, all the elements are showing up as action right now. So what you want to do is reformat it. And you're going to have to go through and reformat every line. Sorry, that's the way it works. So you can go and pick them one by one. So like this needs to be a scene header. So we get that and go down to scene header and pick that. And there it created the extra space for scene header. Now Final Draft has a feature that makes it a little bit faster to do this. It's called reformat. It's command R. And here you get this little window that pops up. And if you type the numbers on the keypad, you will uh, be able to change whatever element is selected to that element. So uh, right now we're in scene header. If we type an N for next, it goes to the next uh, element, next block or paragraph. Uh, that's already action, so that's fine. That should be action, that's fine. This next thing is supposed to be a character name and then below it dialogue. Unfortunately, it made the whole thing one line. So you could quit out of the reformat thing and go and fix the line now, or you could maybe make it all a character right now. My instinct would actually leave this as dialogue and go through and fix the character name in just a sec. Um, this is a real character name. This is dialogue. Um, unfortunately, this line, next line, is supposed to be part of that same line of dialogue. It just got messed up. So here's a situation where we may need to close this box, go through, delete, try to and copy or move that back up to the previous line of dialogue. So as you can see, it's kind of a hassle. Let's make that dialogue first and maybe it'll work. So this will work. It's just not great. Um, it's going to take you a good hour, a good couple hours to go through your whole document and do this. And there's a good chance you're going to find some problems a few days later because you know there were things that weren't exactly the way they should have been when you went through and did this. But it will work. And if you're on a PC, this may be your only choice. The solution I'm going to show you in the next video called Highland only exists on the Mac. So if you're on a PC, and you don't have an ac a Mac or access to a Mac, this may be the best you can do. So here's one way you can move a file from a PDF into Final Draft. 